Brian Miller loves to play on the trampoline with her three-year-old son, Jameson. But these precious moments are even more special because Brian almost didn't survive childbirth. I was 35 weeks, had gone in for dizziness and headache and blurry vision. They monitored my blood pressure for about an hour and they came back in and were like, we're pretty sure that you have preeclampsia. She delivered a healthy baby boy, but with complications from the C-section, Brian was again rushed into surgery. My next memory would be waking up in the ICU on the ventilator. I felt like a lot of pressure um, building up and I kept looking at my dad. I was like, it's not okay. They're like, no, you're fine. Then at that moment is when I blew out all of the packing and I lost about like three liters. Brian's mother was with her newborn grandson in the maternity building when she got the news. My phone rang and I saw it was my husband and I knew, I knew something bad had happened and I picked up the phone and he was sobbing and so I rushed back to the hospital and I looked over to my left and my my husband and the baby's father were in a room with a chaplain and I just remember saying no 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 the doctor on call had come in and he said we're, we're losing her um, and at that point she had to be resuscitated Brian was losing blood faster than they could replenish it and the hospital blood bank couldn't handle the demand in order to get enough blood, the family organized a blood drive. We had people from four states come and donate blood that day. That was the most people they had ever had donate blood in one day. Against all odds, Brian survived. They told me that the amount of blood that I needed was the equivalent of 14 people. I had had the hysterectomy the C-section, the six-hour surgery, all within, I think, 12 hours. And I needed 100 pounds of blood products and 172 units of blood transfers. Brian was transfused so many times that her blood type temporarily changed from B negative to type O. None of the doctors I've ever heard of that happening. The blood was coming out so fast that they just, it didn't even matter at that point, they were putting any type of blood in me. A week after she delivered Jameson, Brian finally got to hold him in her arms. I was actually honestly very terrified, but the second I was wheeled into the room and saw him, it was one of the most like beautiful moments of my life. The Miller family doesn't take for granted how lucky they are. They've made it their mission to pay it forward. We go every six months about as a family to go donate. How it impacted our family so much. We try to get as many people as we can to donate to local hospitals who need it. And every time she donates, Brian experiences a range of emotions. It's a mix between grateful and anxious. But after I do donate, I just think of somebody in my situation that could be helped through that. And it's a satisfying feeling.